So the protein that I chose to do is neuronal nitric oxide synthase. Uh, nitric oxide synthase in general is an enzyme that produces nitric oxide, which is a colorless gas that com consists of a nitrogen atom and an oxygen atom. It is used in two ways in your body, one for signaling and two for attack. It is produced continuously at low levels by cells where it acts as a messenger, controlling for functions such as the contraction of muscle cells and the growth of nerve cells. So there are three different types or isozymes of a NOS, neuronal, endothelial, and inducible. All three use L-arginine and oxygen as substrates and have cofactors such as NADPH, FAD, FMN, and BH4. They also all bind comodulin and contain heme. So neuronal NOS or NNOS is constitutively expressed in the CNS and the PNS and other cell types. Its functions are uh, synaptic plasticity in the CNS, central regulation of blood pressure, uh, smooth muscle relaxation, and vasodilation. Inducible NOS can be expressed in many cell types. Uh, overall, it generates um, large amounts of NO that have effects on parasitic target cells, so it contributes to the pathophysiology of inflammatory diseases and septic shock. Uh, endothelial NOS is mostly expressed in endothelial cells and it keeps blood vessels dilated, controls blood pressure, and has numerous vasoprotective and anti-atherosclerotic effects. So if we want to look now at the structure of uh, nitric oxide synthase, all nitric oxide synthase proteins are homodimers and consist of an amino terminal oxygenase domain and a carboxy terminal reductase domain. The, top show, the portion shown at the top is the oxygenase domain and it creates nitric oxide by adding oxygen to an amino acid arginine using a heme group to assist with the reaction. The portion at the bottom feeds electron up to the top oxygenase domain. So calmodulin, which is shown in green, uh, binds between the two domains and facilitates the flow of electrons from the reductase domain to the heme in the oxygenase domain. A functional NOS transfers electrons from the NADPH by the flavins FAD and FMN in the reductase domain to the heme in the oxygenase domain. The oxygenase domain also binds the essential cofactor BH4, molecular oxygen, and the substrate L-arginine. At the heme site, the electrons are then used to reduce and activate oxygen and to oxidize L-arginine to L-citrulline and nitric oxide. So we're just going to look at the arginine binding pocket now. And in this video, you can see the heme molecule in the back there and the arginine right in the middle here. This only shows the portion of the enzyme that conducts the reaction. So the heme will then pass electrons onto the arginine in the middle here and convert it to citrulline and nitric oxide. So now we're going to look at the mechanism in which uh, NO nitric oxide is synthesized. So in order to synthesize nitric oxide, uh, the enzyme goes through two main steps, which are shown right here. Uh, in the first step, the nitric oxide synthase hydroxylates arginine to N-hydroxy L-arginine right here, um, which remains largely bound to the enzyme. The iron of the heme activates molecular oxygen by a stepwise one electron reduction to form iron 3 oxide. The activated oxygen of the iron 3 oxide then undergoes a nucleophilic attack uh, by the guanidine nitrogen of L-arginine to form LNHA. So then in the second step, what happens is that the enzyme oxidizes the N-hydroxy L-arginine to L-citrulline and nitric oxide. So for this to occur, ferric oxide performs a nucleophilic attack uh, on the carbon of the hydroxy guanidine of the LNHA side chain which then results in the formation of nitric oxide and L-citrulline. So the activation of the oxygen to a heme-bound Fe4+, occurs to one electron that comes from NADPH and one that comes from BH4. Uh, so also for this reaction to occur, calmodulin, as we saw in the previous diagram, uh, must be bound to join the two domains. So in neuronal NOS and endothelial NOS, calmodulin binding is brought about by an increase in the intracellular uh, calcium ion concentration 
and calmodulin is also a positive allosteric regulator of this reaction and pathway. So what happens is that electrons flow along a series of carriers and through calmodulin into the oxygenase domain until it reaches the heme and the arginine binding site. The electrons go from NADPH to FAD to FMN through calmodulin and then on to heme. The nitric oxide formed by NOS can act on several target enzymes and proteins, one of which is guanocyclase. So this is an enzyme that initiates a cascade of responses inside the cell. When it binds to a molecule of nitric oxide, it becomes active and converts GTP into cyclic GMP, which then acts as a second messenger, activating kinases that then mobilize all of the molecules needed to perform the desired physiological function. And now we're going to look at the role of nitric oxide in neurogeneration. So in normal nanomolar amounts, nitric oxide is neuroprotective and its production is regulated by calcium levels. However, uh, overproduction of NO by the neuronal isoform of nitric oxide synthase is one of the fundamental causes underlying neurogeneration disorders and neuropathic pain. Following an event that causes neuronal damage, the concentration of nitric oxide in the bridge can surge to several orders of magnitude to which it becomes neurotoxic, which can then produce dangerous free radicals which can decompose into reactive species such as hydroxyl radicals and peroxides. Uh, oxidative stress from free radicals includes DNA damage and protein structural damage. Uh, these structural changes can lead to protein misfolding and protein aggregation. And in the brains of Alzheimer's patients, uh, where nitric oxide levels are high, there's an elevated tyrosine nitration. It is also believed that uh, oxidative protein damage associates with the beta amyloid plaque buildup. Uh, and nit excess nitric oxide may also trigger hyperphosphorylation and subsequent accumulation of the tau protein. Therefore, NOS as a drug target is being researched for several possible Alzheimer treatments. Uh, and just to show you some of this, um, there are some drugs that people are working on that target NOS and act as competitive inhibitors. So the vast majority of investigations into the inhibition of uh, neuronal NOS either mimic L-arginine or L-citrulline. These inhibitors are designed to simply outcompete L-arginine and bind to the active site of the enzyme, thus pre preventing arginine turnover. However, these simple nitroarginines are non-selective nitric oxide synthase inhibitors, uh, so they can cause hypertension when administered to animals as a result of potent inhibition of the endothelial isozyme as well. Uh, this is due to the fact that the binding site of all three enzymes is very similar. Therefore, it's difficult to design uh, a drug that targets only a specific isozyme. So therefore, there's a lot of research that is currently going into drugs that can target uh, specific NOS isozymes.